Welcome to the Kentucky Bourbon Traveler. Today, we're going to go to Four Roses Distillery, where they're adding a lot more room for a lot more bourbon. We're going to take a look at Four Roses Single Barrel Bourbon, the 100 proof, and review it. And we're going to have a recipe for a bourbon cheesecake. Hi, I'm Ken, and welcome back to Louisville, Kentucky. Four Roses is celebrating their 130th anniversary this year. And when you pull up to the Four Roses Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, you think you took a wrong turn and ended up in Texas or California or the Alamo. The distillery is on the list of historic places and was built in 1910. Its Spanish mission architecture and tower roofs in the middle of the bourbon country are a stark contrast to the pickup trucks that pass by in the dense forest. Four Roses Distillery is a Kentucky Bourbon Trail member and is owned by Kirin Beverage of Japan. Four Roses was one of six of the distilleries allowed to produce medical spirits uh, through prohibition and was the top seller of bourbon in the 1930s through the 50s until Seagram's used its production in the late 50s in their blended whiskey. After the brand was bought by Seagram's, they offered Europe and Japan Four Roses, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. However, here in the United States, they offered a whiskey blend. Fortunately for America, in 2002, Kieran bought Roses and the Seagram's properties, which included the Cox Creek, uh, Four Roses bottling plant, and an aging facility, and brought Roses Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey back to the United States in 2010. Here at the Cox Creek bottling and aging plant, Four Roses uses 21 single story brick houses like these, which we are told are not climate controlled. The rick houses are relatively modern structures. Since the distillers don't have various floors for aging, uh, like their old seven-story rick houses, uh, at different temperatures on different floors, it's not clear how they achieve their great flavor profile, but it explains the brand's consistency. Most days, two tankers bring white dog whiskey to the Cox's Creek plant from the distillery in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. After aging for five to nine years in the one-story rick houses, they're opened and poured in a stainless steel trough where you can see it catches the loose barrel char and allows it to start the journey to chill filtering and bottling at Cox's Creek. Like many Kentucky distilleries, they're under construction to keep up with more demand for bourbon at both their distillery and also their aging and bottling plant. We hear Four Roses will be doubling their bourbon production by 2020 and also adding four new one-story rickhouses at Cox Creek. Today we're profiling Four Roses Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon, 100 proof. It's a premium bourbon and it's sold in Kentucky around $41 for the 750 milliliter bottle. It's aged seven to nine years according to the distillery staff. And it's not age stated and what I've heard in the past is that it's an eight year whiskey. But there's a lot of pressure on a lot of distilleries to put out more bourbon than they have. So my bet is that's why there's no age stating on the bottle. The water is from the Salt River next to the distillery. Four Roses single barrel is not a traditional single barrel bourbon. Four Roses ages in a 3.5 to number 4 charred cask in the single story rick houses. And when you're talking about a number 3 char and some 40 seconds, it's really kind of a 3.5 to 4. When you taste this bourbon, you taste what yeast can do to relatively young bourbon without as much influence from aging. This single barrel uses only one yeast strain of four roses, ten different strains. 
Its grain ingredients are international too. The corn is from Indiana, the rye is from Europe, and the barley is from Montana. The single barrel recipe or mash bill is on the diagram that I'm showing you now. It's corn 60%, high and rye at 35%, and 5% malted barley. It's sweet and has a little bit of a peppery taste that competes with the caramel and burnt brown sugar. It's lighter tasting than many heavily oaked single barrels. And like Four Roses, excellent 80 proof. It's been expertly fine-tuned with their yeast to make it a must-have addition to every bourbon fan's bar. Lately it's won two awards, the 2018 gold medal at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition and here in Kentucky where people know a great deal about bourbon. It won the 2018 Best Bourbon, Judge's Choice, Taste of the Bluegrass Award. Four Roses offers tours with tastings in both their Lawrenceburg, Kentucky distillery and their aging and bottling plant in Cox's Creek. They're both about 45 minutes south of Louisville. Well next up, Christiane has a gourmet dessert recipe for bourbon cheesecake. You can make it home if you're willing to loan the cook a little of your bourbon. Hi, I'm Christiane from Würzburg, Germany and today we're going to make a bourbon cream cheesecake. So we start out with the crust which consists of graham cracker crumbs, toasted pecans, sugar, butter and a couple of chocolate chunks. We added the butter now into the breadcrumbs mixture and you toss it around with a fork or a pastry um, mixer and get it all combined to be kind of consistent, kind of sticky. Then we put it in a buttered spring form. And now we start patting the, the crust down. So what I did, I patted with my hands nicely in the bottom of the paint the crust and some to the side and there's really no tool than your own hands to pat it down real nicely and tight and to make it really special we have some dark uh, chocolate Belgian chocolate chips and we're gonna add some to the crust on the bottom not too many just a few Now we're actually going to make the uh, bourbon cream mixture. We, uh, what you need is cream cheese, eggs, sugar, cocoa, vanilla, bourbon cream, the one we made a couple weeks ago on our bourbon uh, blog, uh, or you can go to the store, do the local store and buy you some bourbon cream. And then we also need some chocolate chunks. So the first thing, we're going to pour the eggs. In our mixing bowl, and that should be room temperature, and then the sugar. And then we start mixing until it's kind of light yellow and foamy. So I mix the eggs with the sugar and it's kind of foamy and the eggs turn kind of light yellow. And it takes about three minutes to get them kind of foamy consistency. Now we're going to add one of the cream cheeses. Cream cheese has to go in a little bit at a time. And some sour cream. And we start mixing and then we start mixing a lot and then we're gonna add the rest of the cream cheese and the sour cream and then the cocoa. So after you mixed all your ingredients together with the mixer and have this nice little consistency, we add the best part of all our bourbon cream. Use your whisk or you can use your mixer. I like to use the whisk, do it by hand. Combine all the ingredients. And now we're gonna fill in our pan.
and we put it in a preheated oven on 325 with a small pan of water on the bottom so the uh, cake stays moist and we bake it for about an hour and 20 minutes. After we had the bourbon cheese cream in the refrigerator for overnight, we, I decorated it with uh, whipped cream, chocolate powder and some dark Belgian chocolate uh, chunks and now enjoy. Kentucky Bourbon Traveler is proud to be a member of the Stave and Thief Society Bourbon Certification Program. Last year, the Kentucky Distillers Association announced the official bourbon education program, the Stave and Thief Society. It's the official bourbon education course endorsed by master distillers and 33 distillers in Kentucky. If you enjoy getting your bourbon certificate online, even in Europe and Canada, contact Kristen Head at 502-266-7377 or go online registrar at staveandthief.com to the Kentucky Bourbon Traveler.